Hello folks and welcome back. In this video, let's cover Fibonacci retracement. Fibonacci is a very interesting technical indicator because it will help you determine what are the support levels that can be formed when the stock is in a defined uptrend. If you recollect, we had initially discussed the price action wherein we had said that whenever a stock is in a price action, let's say it's an uptrend, it will go up come down to create a support and then again resume its upward journey so in order for you to understand when the stock is retracing back and coming down to form a support in a given uptrend at what level can you expect the support formation to happen this is where fibonacci retracement levels come in very handy similarly if a stock is in a downtrend where it is forming a lower top lower bottom lower top lower bottom formation then we would be very interested to know that when it forms a lower bottom at what level will it retrace and again continue its downward journey this is where fibonacci will give us an edge so without much delay let's understand the fibonacci indicator better so to understand the fibonacci ratios it is very important that we understand the construct of the fibonacci series so let's assume a binary world where we have two numbers 0 and 1 and then you derive the third number by adding the preceding two numbers in this case it's 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and so on the fourth number becomes 1 plus 1 equals to 2 the fifth number is 1 plus 2 equals to 3 and so on so when you do this when you take two numbers to begin with and derive the third number by adding the preceding two numbers you arrive at an infinite series and if you take a ratio of any of these two numbers in the series in a predefined fashion you will be able to identify key fibonacci ratios though it's not very important for us to understand how the fibonacci ratios are derived but if you are still interested to understand the derivation of the fibonacci ratios you can download the excel sheet by clicking on the link in the comment section in this excel sheet we have derived the construct of the fibonacci series and tried to define how the key fibonacci ratios are arrived at the key fibonacci ratios being 23.6% 32.8% and 61.8% however in the context of trading and using fibonacci ratios people also consider 50% as one of the fibonacci ratios even though it is not derived as a part of the fibonacci series so for the sake of this video and this discussion we will consider 50% also as one of the key fibonacci levels so let's try to understand this construct further as you are able to see my screen this is an example where the stock is in a visible uptrend and it is going up to create a higher top coming down to create a higher bottom again going up to create a higher top and coming down to create a higher bottom in an uptrend your resistances are breached and your supports are created resistance is being breached and new support is being created so when we talk about retracement retracement means what percentage of this move the stock corrected by or the stock price retraced similarly in the context of a downtrend the price is coming down to form a lower bottom lower top lower bottom lower top and the dotted line shows the retracement of the stock from this swing high to this swing low which means out of a 40 point move the stock corrected back almost 16 points so this is what we call as retracement retracing the journey back so in case the stock was in a downtrend it will retrace a portion of that journey back so i hope you are now clear with what we mean by retracement and what the key fibonacci ratios are let's try to apply this concept in the form of some examples that i have on my screen now and we'll be covering those in detail so on my screen i have the example where i have the chart of asian paints on a daily time frame If you notice the stock was in a brief phase of consolidation and then it gave a nice up move and as expected after a brief up move we would expect the stock to come down to create a support so it did come down so 
typically we would expect the retracement to be around these key FIBO levels which is 24%, 38%, 50% or 62%. The lesser the retracement, the stronger is the trend which means had this stock retraced up to 24% and again began its upward journey, we would consider the strength of the uptrend to be very high. But this stock actually retraced more than 60%. It did take a support at around 60% and then went up to create a resistance and then came down further. So this is how we can use Fibonacci to get some insights on the strength of the prior trend. If a stock is in an uptrend and the retracement is up to 60%, that is the worst case retracement. Anything below 60% is a definitive weakness and the strength or the validity of the prior uptrend gets nullified. The lesser the level of retracement, the better and the stronger is the strength of the prior trend. Let's look at one more example where I have the chart of Siemens India on a weekly time frame. If you see, I have drawn this Fibonacci level here from a swing low to a swing high and the stock was in a nice uptrend. And as expected, we would know that when the stock goes up, it would be expected to come down sooner or later to create a support. The stock went up and it came down almost around 61% and then it consolidated for a bit and then again it started its upward journey. So although the stock price corrected almost 60% from the trend that it gave, it was still a valid trend because it did not sustain below the 61.8 retracement level. Had it sustained below the 61.8 retracement level and come up to create a new resistance and then again resume its downward journey, we would consider the previous trend to be nullified. Now let's look at the same chart and let's look at a bigger swing here. From this zone, the stock went up one way until this level and then it started retracing and consolidating. And the retracement happened somewhere around the 23-24% level and then the upward journey started. Which means this particular strength or this particular trend is a very powerful trend and likewise the upward journey here will also be equally powerful if history has to repeat itself. So this is how you can validate the strength of the prior trend by looking at the retracement level and the quantum of retracement. Higher the quantum of retracement, weaker is the prior trend and lower the quantum of retracement, stronger is the prior trend. Now let's look at one final example around Fibonacci retracement. So on my screen, I have the chart of Ajanta Pharmaceuticals on a daily time frame. The stock was correcting and coming down and as expected, it went up to create a resistance. Had the resistance been created over and above 62%, I would consider this downtrend to be a weak downtrend. But the stock retraced from almost 50% levels and continued its downward journey. And now it was in a consolidation phase which means the downtrend is now over, the stock has entered into a consolidation phase and if my expectations are right, this is forming a cup and a handle pattern and it is soon going to give a very nice breakout above 1300 levels, 1300, 1310 levels. Don't get confused by the chart pattern because we have it covered in the subsequent videos in this series. But Ajanta Pharmaceutical as of this date, that is the third week of August, is definitely a buy trade as long as the broader markets are not weak. So you may want to keep a note of this and see how the price action unfolds. Also, if you notice, when we talk about price action, we give a lot of importance to the volume. And if you notice this particular day, that is 19th of August, we had almost 5x the average volume and we have a long body green candle which is also giving me a positive bias for the stock. So I am definitely expecting Ajanta Pharma stock to go up provided the broader market indices are not correcting or going into a bear grip. Another example which I would want to discuss in the context of FIBOs would be the Asian Paints chart on a daily time frame. The stock came down, it went up to create a resistance 
and it created a resistance around the 38 to 50 percent zone which means i would still consider the downtrend to be valid and i will still consider the stock to be in a bear grip and if i use indicators like emas i can clearly see that emas is giving me a confluence during this consolidation phase and it is then giving me a huge long body red candle indicative of the fact that the bear grip is still intact so this is how you can use the intuitive information from candles along with TBO levels and other indicators to arrive at meaningful insight and then plan your trade accordingly. Remember, if your stock is entering into a corrective mode and the strength of that downtrend is good enough, that means the retracement is not beyond 62% level, you might want to exit your holdings at around the retracement level and then re-enter the stock when it's available cheap. By doing so, you will be able to reduce your cost of holding. Alternately, you might want to identify shorting opportunities whenever the stock is retracing and then resuming its downward journey back. Now let me show you how to plot TPO levels in a given chart. So we log in to tv.gun.co which gives us all the indicators for free and we can use as many indicators as we want. So on my screen, I have the chart of Britannia Industries on a weekly time frame. Let me delete all the existing drawings and indicators. This is a raw chart, a raw candlestick chart, which will load by default. Now, if you want to plot in the FIBO levels, on the left hand side, the third option, if you click on this arrow, the first option here, the set of horizontal lines with the command FIB retracement is what we would use to plot the key FIBO levels. So if I click on this indicator, I can plot in this level from let's say this point to this point. One thing which I would want to highlight and I would want you to remember always is that FIBOs are always plotted from left to right. It is never plotted the other way around. And it is either plotted from a swing low to a swing high or a swing high to a swing low. So in this case, in this particular example, I am taking this swing low, I am taking this swing high and I am plotting a FIBO level here. Also, if you notice when the stock went up one way, the correction happened in this particular zone, 23.6% to 38.2% which means this uptrend has good strength and as expected the stock again went up now if i would want to take a trade here i can draw in my horizontal lines and i can define my support and resistance zones and whenever the price is going above the resistance area with a huge green body candle that's a positive sign for me and that's a definite buy for me now this level is based on the weekly time frame but when you observe something like this in a weekly time frame, you need to take your trades on a lower time frame. So you can switch back to the daily time frame and you can identify your entry and exit points accordingly. Let me plot one more FIBO level here. Let me plot it from a swing high to a swing low this time. So let me choose this particular swing here. So let me plot one more FIBO level on the same chart. This time, I would plot it from a swing high to a swing low. In the previous case, we used a swing low to a swing high. So I select my FIBO indicator from this side and I plot it from swing high to swing low. So the stock is in a downtrend. It came up to create a resistance and it breached the 61-62% level, which means the strength of this down move is not great. But it was not able to sustain beyond that level. So when it came down, it came down with a huge red body candle. So that is why I would say that this strength is still valid because if you notice the type of candles being formed here after the level was breached, these are all doji candles or a hanging man pattern candle. Don't get confused, we have it covered in the candlestick pattern types. but. A hanging man candle is typically a bearish candle and this is followed by two doji candles with huge upper and lower shadows indicative of the fact that there is indecisiveness in the market 
and there is a fight between the bulls and the bears. So we need to wait for the picture to be clear. And this particular candle from the first week of August cleared the picture for me, which is a dark cloud cover. So this gives me a picture that the strength of this down move is still valid and I should still try to find or identify shorting opportunities in this stock or if I am having a long position, I may want to exit my long position somewhere at these levels and re-enter back at lower levels to help me reduce my cost of holding. So friends, I hope this session was informative and you will be able to make use of the Fibonacci drawing to identify the key levels where the stock prices are expected to form a resistance while in a downtrend or to take support while in an uptrend. And you can use this across any time frame that you would like. Remember, technicals when applied on a higher time frame chart holds more meaning than when applied on a lower time frame chart. And the same applies to the Fibonacci indicators as well. So folks, practice as much as you can, draw as many FIBOs as you like on a given chart and see how the interpretation of FIBO aligns to the support and resistance level. The more you practice, the better you be at reading and understanding charts. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.